Oh my. Are we really doing this again? You'd think six years was enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought we were going to get through the show without this next act, but apparently the boys from East Bell County are here. <laughs> again. Please welcome the Dung Beatles. Well, hello there, gentlemen. I can't believe you're here. Well, we figured you'll be pretty surprised that we're back yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's one word for it. Anyway, will you introduce yourselves to the audience? Oh, sure. Hey, fellas, let's start with that nice lady down there. No, 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 sure. no, 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 no. Just tell them your names. Oh, well, okie doke. Well, this here is that's Ringo Star Hall. <laughs> and that skinny fellow on the end there, that's Paul McCarstravinka. <laughs> My name is John Leonard. <laughs> George Avelka couldn't be here. He'd been uh, seeing this gal that he met on that farmersonly.com. Oh, I see. Well, why are you called the Dung Beetles and not just the Beetles? Well, East Bell County folks, you know, they don't like too many kinds of Beetles. And, uh, but we had to make sure we wasn't the bad kind. Dung beetles are good beetles. They're welcome in East Bell County on account of they help the farmers and the ranchers by getting rid of manure and such. On the other hand, some people say we're called the dung beetles because we sound like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we get the picture. Why don't we get to some songs? Okay, well, this first one we wrote about a guy who's here in the Lions Club in this show tonight and... Most folks in East Bell County have known him for a long time, but now everybody in Bell County know him. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> in East Bell County, there's a lawman in the Lions Club, and he's also a darn good auctioneer. His voice rings out so loud and clear, it is not hard to hear. appreciates that. Yes, sir. Uh, you got any more? Only about 52. <laughs> These next two songs go out to all those farmers and ranchers who are sort of sentimental about their livestock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something in the way she moves. Fellows like no other heifer. <laughs> Something in the way she moves. I gotta go feed her now. So she's my favorite cow. Now, 
Till I take her to the livestock show I don't know Well, that was kind of pretty. Do you spend a lot of time writing these songs? Yes, sir, we do. Shoot, I got to keep a paper and pencil and, and in case something shows up in my head yet. And, uh, <laughs> yes, ideas come to us at strange times and in weird places, and you just never know. We think of them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes it seems like eight days a week. In fact, Ringo, he came up one with one the other uh, about two in the morning. And the le next morning, he told us he had had a hard day's night. <laughs> Hang, on. Well, that's, Hang on. That's hard to imagine. I wonder if you can. <laughs> it's easy if you cry. <laughs> Hold on there. Truth is, we just wrote one yesterday. Oh, really? What's it called? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> all my kinfolk live so far away. Now it seems as though they're here to stay. Oh, I wish they would go away. Suddenly, they're drinking all my Lone Star beer for free. They even ate my last whole cheese, and I think it was poppy seed. <laughs> So, so these songs are pretty much about all your own experiences. Yes, sir. In fact, this next one is about where we live. Oh, okay. In the town where I was born lived a man who owned a store and he told us of his home in a place called Radibar. We all live in a barn and ride a bar, a barn and ride a bar, a barn and ride a bar. Give yourselves a clap there. Well, isn't that a happy song? Yes, sir, but they ain't all like that. You know, sometimes we got tragedy and we went through a little dark period. Oh, Paul's wife, Lucille, you know, she was cooking one time and she left the propane on. Well, she went back later to light a candle and boom! That's when we wrote, Lucy in the sky with Palachi. Oh. Oh, my, that, that sounds awful. So you heard it. 
Paul wrote one during dove season. That should liven things up a bit. Okay, I'm all for that. Okie dokie. Can't shoot no dove. Johnny Dunn told me so. Can't shoot no dove. got a couple of songs we wrote that are inspired by one of our passions. That's barbecue. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> this first one is kind of racy, so hold on. Okay. <laughs> Makes me kind of hungry. Sure, you look like you always hungry. <laughs> this one is a little slower, but you'll like it. Oh, okay. When I am so tired and hungry, let my cast come to me. Speaking words of wisdom, ribs and beans. I have ate all my supper, no one will sit next to me. I think I know the reason, rip and beans, rip and beans, rip and beans, got to keep your coat and clean. Please roll down your window, rip and beans. a bunch of more songs, but if you don't mind, we'd just like to play just one more so everyone can get home in time to get that candy out of your teeth. Well, I'm sorry you can stay longer. Something wrong with your neck? <laughs> was, that, was that the creak in there? I'm uh, sorry about that, so let's ask the audience, do you want to hear one more? It's about old Reuben Papelka. <laughs> we all brothers-in-law together with him. He'd been ranching for a while, but he lost all his cattle in a high-stakes domino game. <laughs> and he's having to start all over. Well, okay, let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Reuben, don't be so sad. Take a big
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. 